my goal is again double this year and and double next year and i don't think that's unrealistic based on the based on the market you know anyone who's an opportunist you know i just really see myself as an opportunist i am a super hard worker but i really don't want to be working my butt off forever so i saw this as something that uh you know i can work my butt off maybe first two three years um and then after that be able to have a, a business that kind of runs itself and my hard work is, is seeing fruit for for longer than just what i can put in hourly you know so um autonomy was definitely something that i was looking for so anyone you know is really looking for autonomy an autonomous role where they can kind of call the shots, do their own thing, but has an awesome backing from the franchise that says, hey, this is a proven business model. You know, these are the X, Y, Z tactics that you can do, and we've seen it be very successful. Um, just follow them. You know, so I'm not a very creative person, so that's why I, you know, looked into franchises. Guys are like, all right, well, I'm a hard worker. I can drive a business. I'm a leader. So I just took their model, and, and, and uh, I'm running with it, and, and I like it. So being involved for the last 17 years, um, I don't know if I do anything else. Um, I really enjoy coming to work every day. Um, I enjoy cr uh, creating an environment where I have uh, independent contractors and employees working with me. Um, and I think that's the biggest part about it is that you create a team environment. Um, and I, I, I have no intention of selling anytime soon. So I, I plan to be the, at this for the next 10 years, I'm sure. People will come up to me and shake my hand uh, and uh, you know, thank me because uh, uh, maybe they used me before or they know of a friend or a relative that used me or used the company and uh, we help them in some way. The business is heading up. I think the industry as a whole is increasing. Uh, the lack or the lack of skills skill sets that homeowners now have because it's not being handed down from their parents. It were more of a corporate society, and because of that, there is a, a strong need for handyman services here now. And there will be for a long time because of the lack of these those skill sets. To me, I'm just about growing it as much as I possibly can, yeah. and because I'm not thinking of turning around and selling it anytime soon. So my goal is to build it. As, as much as I can. I mean, if, if I do choose to retire, doesn't mean I have to sell it. I can have somebody manage it for me or, uh, but yeah, I like to build it and make it as, as successful as possible.